Cooperative gaming is a great way to have fun, an ideal training ground for teamwork skills, and the fastest way to lose friends. For those looking for games to play with friends, we've compiled a selection of the 60 most diverse cooperative games of the decade for PC. And I'll start with Ashen. It's something like Dark Souls designed for two players. One of the main obstacles on our path will be the lack of illumination. Many dungeons require some light source, which means one hand is constantly occupied with a torch, thereby reducing the hero's combat effectiveness. Ashen features many elements from Dark Souls, from the combat system to the exploration of an open world. It's unfair that the Steam reviews are mixed and the game hasn't received the attention it deserves. It's one of the best co-op games I've played. Kingdom Two Crowns A sequel to an incredibly addictive game. This time it has been improved with more buildings, upgrades, new classes of citizens, new mounts, and two-player co-op. There are more locations, and the locations themselves are larger. Now there are five islands that can be traveled between. The goal remains the same, defeat evil and stay in power. It's an excellent example of how well-crafted mini-games made with passion are far superior to conveyor belt blockbusters. Depth here, we'll be sent to a dark underwater world where we'll become either a shark or a diver and overcome enemies using cleverness, teamwork, and stealth. You always need to be on guard because AI opponents or other players won't give you a moment's rest. There's a variety of weapons in progression, and the gameplay is enjoyable. You can play an online co-op with two to six players. Remnant from the Ashes an energetic cooperative third-person shooter with role-playing elements set in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by monsters. As one of the last remnants of humanity, either alone or with one or two companions, we must battle hordes of monsters and various bosses. It's a hardcore action RPG that leaves no room for error or time to catch your breath. That's what makes it appealing to gamers who value challenges in games. Magicka 2, a satirical adventure game set in a fantasy world with pleasant graphics. The uniqueness of the game lies in the fact that we need to create complex spells on the fly and even combine them with friends. It supports co-op for two to four players. Overall, it's a good sequel with lots of humor and references, just like the first game. The combat system was taken from Magicka. The game is fully geared towards co-op, and some puzzles are simply unsolvable if played alone. Monster Hunter World, a role-playing action game dedicated to hunting various monsters that inhabit this fantasy world. The game is entirely devoted to grinding. We fight giant creatures, create equipment from obtained resources, and then set out to hunt even more dangerous beings. And so it goes until every monster present in this world adds to our trophy list. The game can be played solo, but it's recommended to play in co-op. World War Z an ideological continuation of the Left 4 Dead series, based on the movie of the same name. However, here it only takes the setting and locations, while the rest of the game is a typical cooperative shooter. The game's feature lies in the massive hordes of zombies, the choice between character classes, and intriguing game modes. Resident Evil 6 the game has ceased to be scary and has gained more action. The gameplay has been improved for the better, adding more dynamism to the game. Old fans of the atmospheric Resident Evil series may not be entirely satisfied with such changes, but for those who are not very familiar with the series, the sixth installment should be enjoyable. It offers an interesting storyline and the ability to play together with a friend. Hero Siege, a hack and slash game with elements of roguelike and RPG. Here, we will be destroying hordes of monsters, leveling up our character, finding equipment, and exploring pixelated randomly generated locations. The game supports local and online cooperative play for two to four players. You can also play it for as long as you would play The Binding of Isaac. Those who have played it will understand. Warhammer Vermintide 2, a sequel to the four-player cooperative action game set in the Warhammer Fantasy universe. It features high-quality graphics, atmospheric locations, intense battles against hordes of enemies, unique hero classes with flexible progression. Vermintide 2 is a beautiful, dynamic, and captivating co-op experience, considered one of the best in the fantasy genre. If you have friends, it's an excellent choice. 
Trine series, a colorful game with elements of action. Players take on the roles of three heroes and immerse themselves in a fairy tale world with breathtaking landscapes, numerous puzzles, intricate mechanisms, dangerous enemies, and magical creatures. The visually appealing graphics will surely captivate you. As you may have guessed, it supports cooperative play for up to three players, with each player controlling one of the classes. Factorio. In this game, we build factories on an unfriendly planet and maintain their operation by gathering resources, researching new technologies, creating infrastructure, automating production, and fighting local fauna. Initially, everything is done manually, but over time, you can advance to an energy industry with huge solar farms, oil processing, build robots, and establish an extensive logistics network. The cooperative play supports a large number of players, with servers accommodating 100 plus players. Overall, the game is incredibly addictive, and it's hard to tear yourself away even when playing solo. Divinity Original Sin 2, one of the best turn-based RPG games of all time. It offers interesting gameplay, rich lore, excellent dialogues, graphics, soundtracks, and voice acting. The game allows for interactive interactions with the world and magic, creating a captivating atmosphere. It features full-fledged cooperative play for two to four players. Each playthrough becomes an exciting adventure where players can argue, plot against each other, explore the world together or separately, and of course, battle numerous enemies. Finding a better project for enjoyable time with friends would be extremely challenging. Payday 2, a cooperative first-person shooter for four players with a wide variety of characters, each of whom has their own motives and backstory that led them to a life of heists and killings. Payday 2 offers the opportunity to participate in a large number of heists, including not only bank vault burglaries. Throughout its existence, the game has received a tremendous amount of updates and is arguably the best cooperative PvE shooter with elements of tactics and team interaction. A Way Out, a game fully focused on cooperative gameplay with a friend. It cannot be played solo, and playing with a random player is not possible or recommended. This project delivers the most vibrant emotions when you play with a familiar person, preferably on the same computer, in split-screen mode. So, if you have someone to play with, be sure to check out this wonderful game. Portal Knights, an open-world sandbox game with pleasant graphics, world exploration, base building, and boss battles. It's not demanding but can be a bit dull when played alone, whereas playing in co-op is quite enjoyable. The game features dozens of randomly generated islands where you can build almost anything, and there's even a somewhat present storyline. Overall, it's a cool sandbox game with full landscape destructibility and resource gathering. Personally, it reminded me of Terraria, but in 3D and on a smaller scale, yet equally addictive. Hammerwatch a cooperative hack and slash RPG from a third-person perspective for four players, featuring several characters of different classes and numerous monster-filled levels that we need to clear. The graphics are minimalist and stylized to resemble 16-bit consoles, evoking nostalgia for bygone times. Everything in the game feels familiar and understandable. Don't expect any groundbreaking innovations, but it certainly has its charm. Dungeon Defenders a game that combines action, RPG, and tower defense genres. Unlike typical tower defense games, Dungeon Defenders includes characters, gear, and levels, as well as the ability to level up heroes and structures. There's a shop with various perks, diverse weapons, and pets. This online game is designed for four players, offering several character classes to choose from in numerous arenas for battles. Rampage Knights, a cooperative beat em up roguelike with randomly generated dungeons that can be explored solo or in a cooperative mode for two players. You'll play as a hero trapped in a magical forest, where all paths lead to the only castle teeming with goblins, skeletons, and other dark creatures. The game features a highly simple yet addictive combat mechanic. There are different hero classes, character progression, and plenty of weapons and magic. Don't Starve Together, a standalone expansion to the original single-player game, now with cooperative play for up to six players. It's a survival game in an unusual graphical style, with an interesting gameplay based on base building and endless search for essential resources. 
We have a wide selection of characters, numerous resources, and items to create from them. Meanwhile, we face a mysterious and dangerous world that doesn't forgive mistakes. Mortal Kombat 10, the 10th installment of the most intense fighting game series of all time, featuring two-player cooperative mode. It's a top-notch, bloody slaughter utilizing next-generation technologies, combining dynamic gameplay with cinematic visuals. Interactive objects have been introduced in arenas, allowing for interaction during fights. Each character now has three variations, special moves, and combos. Orcs must die. Another excellent blend of action and tower defense with good humor, voice acting, graphics, upgrade system, and various ways to eliminate orcs in a two-player cooperative mode. At the beginning of each level, you're given time to study the map and strategically set up traps for the incoming horde. There's a huge variety of traps in the game, and you can even deploy archers and warriors. Additionally, the hero themselves wields a crossbow, pike, and various types of magic. It starts off simple, but each level becomes progressively more challenging. Worms Ultimate Mayhem This game features a storyline where we control our own team of worms and save our professor, and it includes content from Worms 3D as well. Overall, there's plenty to do in single-player mode. However, it's even more fun to play with friends in cooperative mode for up to six players. Whether on a single computer or over the network, the enjoyment is guaranteed. There's a wide selection of weapons to choose from, allowing you to blow up the map into pieces. There are also several modes and challenges available. Secrets of Grindia, a very atmospheric action RPG with pleasant graphics. Create your character and immerse yourself in a colorful world. The game offers both a story mode and an arcade mode. There are no predefined classes, players choose their own skills to level up. The gameplay is engaging, with various skill upgrades, intense boss battles, humor, artifacts, side quests, characters, crafting, house customization, and different locations. All of this can be experienced in cooperative play for up to four players. Titan Quest Anniversary Edition the classic Titan Quest Quest adapted for modern PCs, featuring all the expansions compiled together. They also released a separate add-on called Ragnarok, which can please longtime fans. For those unfamiliar, it's a classic representative of Diablo-style ARPG set in the mythology of ancient Greece, Egypt, and the East. The game follows the nameless heroes, up to four players, on a campaign against three titanic creatures who seek to take over the Earth. Gears of War 4. This is one of the cooperative games that can be enjoyable to play solo, but the cooperative mode adds an extra level of excitement. There are also multiplayer matches where teamwork is crucial for survival. The Horde matches, in particular, are very well done, requiring you to survive as many waves of enemies as possible. The game boasts a dark atmosphere and intense battles with a touch of brutality. Phasmophobia. In this game, a group of four players ventures into a haunted house and challenges the resident ghosts. In this horror game, all members of the mission must work together and constantly communicate with each other, or they simply won't survive in the presence of aggressive supernatural beings. For a deeper immersion in the game's atmosphere, it is recommended to use a VR headset, but be warned, the level of fear will reach unprecedented heights. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Cooperative gameplay in this action-packed shooter is more of an additional feature, although the cooperative modes surprisingly turned out to be interesting. The campaign tells the story of a not-so-distant future where war is waged and robots and soldiers with enhanced abilities battle on the field. The levels are designed for cooperative play, with large environments that require frequent tactical adjustments. Far Cry 4, 5, and 6 excellent open-world shooters with cooperative gameplay options. The only drawback is that in Far Cry 4, you cannot play the story campaign together, and in Far Cry 5, the story progress is only saved for the session host. Apart from that, there are no restrictions on cooperative mode. You can explore the world together, participate in races, liberate enemy outposts, and much more. The Forest 1 and 2, a high-quality and atmospheric survival horror game. Instead of traditional zombies, various mutants are the primary threat in this game. 
crafting and building our essential aspects. The game features a storyline and unexpected scripted situations, as well as a vibrant and immersive game world. A significant advantage is that acquiring supplies and necessities for survival is not overly challenging. The game truly shines when played cooperatively. Ghost Recon Wildlands a shooter from Ubisoft specifically designed for cooperative play. While it is possible to play solo, you'll miss out on a large part of the experience that the game offers when completing missions together. It's all about the gameplay. The game is tailored as a tactical shooter, and AI-controlled characters can't compare to real people who, with proper coordination, turn mission completion into a beautifully executed action film. Barotrauma a multiplayer cooperative submarine simulator set on a different planet. According to the storyline, humans have traveled to Jupiter's moon, but due to its radioactive surface, they can only live in the ocean. Our task is to descend beneath the ice layer of the moon as a member of a submarine crew and explore all the wonders of the local flora and fauna. The team must manage the submarine and probably address various issues that arise, not only due to realistic controls, but also terrifying alien monsters that attack the submarine. Halo The Master Chief, a collection of the legendary saga that includes updated versions of all the main games in the series for PC. Each of these games stood out significantly among its competitors at the time. And now, after many years, even more players can immerse themselves in this universe on PC. It's a lively shooter from the past that still feels extremely satisfying. Despite its outdated game design, the gameplay is engaging, and on higher difficulties, the local AI turns every battle into a tactical challenge. Helldivers, a hardcore top-down action game from the creators of the Magicka series, where you'll travel to different planets and complete missions while battling huge insects, and teamwork becomes the key to success. The game's distinctive feature is friendly fire. You need to be careful where you shoot, as your teammate might get hit. Satisfactory. In this game, you are sent to an unfamiliar planet where your main task is to colonize it by constructing multi-story factories and setting up production chains. However, a significant portion of the gameplay involves exploring the vast open world, which is quite large. The planet holds numerous mysteries, and you can admire its beauty either alone or by using jetpacks, vehicles, jump pads, and other means of transportation. Don't forget about the local creatures who are clearly opposed to the colonization of their home. Valheim a popular survival simulator set in a fantasy world inspired by Norse mythology. The gameplay is familiar for the genre, gathering resources, building and crafting, and battling monsters. However, all its elements are so well integrated that once you start playing, you won't be able to put it down. Valheim can be played cooperatively, opening up new tactical possibilities. Deep Rock Galactic a procedurally generated cooperative shooter where four classes of dwarf miners are sent on missions to find minerals, repair equipment, evacuate, or exterminate various cosmic foes. The procedurally generated locations with randomly spawning enemies will always keep you on your toes. You can drill through anything, even the seemingly impenetrable. This is usually associated with a poorly assembled team where a particular class is simply missing. SnowRunner, the best cargo delivery simulator and an excellent off-road game. SnowRunner is recommended to be played in company. Teammates can help pull out a stuck vehicle, take on part of the cargo, and the joint journey through unexplored territories of Michigan, Tymir, and Alaska will be much more enjoyable compared to solo rides. Borderlands series. Each installment of the Borderlands series contains a huge amount of content, and can keep you engaged for dozens, if not hundreds, of hours. Moreover, there's a game for every configuration. Low-end PCs can easily handle the first game, while the sequel and pre-sequel are suitable for mid-range computers. Owners of powerful systems can enjoy the latest edition, Borderlands 3. Dying Light 1 and 2, it is a zombie action game with parkour and a strong emphasis on melee combat, as well as 4-player cooperative gameplay. Joining forces as a team, you can explore the world, 
complete quests, and fight zombies together. Additionally, there's an asymmetrical multiplayer mode where another player can invade your session as a powerful monster. The game offers various ways to kill enemies, character progression, unexpected events on the map, and plenty of gaming enjoyment. Portal 2 is a puzzle game that presents challenges that aren't always easy to solve. In addition to an excellent single-player campaign, the game features a two-player cooperative mode that complements and expands the single-player story. I want to warn people who plan to play this game for relaxation. It won't happen. The game can be quite mentally taxing. It's difficult to find any downsides to the game. It truly stands out as a top-tier puzzle game. The online mode of Red Dead Redemption 2 isn't very popular, but those who want to play with friends can find several interesting activities. The game has a fairly intrusive monetization system, requiring real money to access interesting content. If you want to become a bounty hunter or moonshiner, you'll have to pay for it. However, the developers gradually add new types of activities. It's important to understand that just like with GTA 5, the development of the online mode took several years. Styx, Shards of Darkness. This is the sequel to the adventures of the unrelenting thief Styx, who dreams of outsmarting arrogant elves, greedy dwarves, and foolish humans, basically anyone who is an enemy of the goblins by nature. Compared to the previous installment, the game has undoubtedly improved visually and in terms of gameplay. Stealth enthusiasts can look forward to multi-level intricate locations with varied ways to approach levels and complete objectives. The game mechanics have become more diverse, including item crafting from collected resources, and it offers the possibility of cooperative play for two players. Green Hell is a survival simulator set in the Amazon jungle. Players, as part of a team of up to four participants, try to survive for as long as possible in a battle against hostile nature, bloodthirsty predators, hunger, cold, and diseases. The gameplay closely resembles real survival conditions, and players will need to closely interact as a team to avoid perishing in the green hell. The Darkness 2 is a very vibrant and stylish action game, in a good cinematic sense. The story treads the line between reality and imagination, and the combat mechanics, set against the backdrop of cover-based shooters, feel fresh and interesting. Occasionally, it may become repetitive, and the cooperative mode doesn't meet all expectations, but that doesn't prevent enjoying the game. The key is to take breaks so that the abundance of blood, violence, and darkness doesn't consume you. Splinter Cell Blacklist a stealth action game that arms you to the teeth with state-of-the-art weaponry and deadly skills of an elite operative, offering you entry into a dangerous world where you must create your own rules in the pursuit of justice. It's a spy game that presents a wide selection of weapons, gadgets, and various missions, arguably the best game in the series. Children of Morda Fans of quality roguelikes should take a look at Children of Morda. It's an original and feature-rich RPG about an extraordinary family of heroes who not only fight evil but also care for each other. As we progress through the game and gain new levels, we will develop not only the personal characteristics of the characters but also the entire family. Death in the game is not permanent, so between dungeon expeditions, family members can be swapped. Terraria and Starbound. Dig, fight, explore, and build. Nothing is impossible in these eventful adventure games. Create weapons to battle different enemies in various biomes or on different planets. Dig deeper to find treasures, money, and plenty of other useful items. Gather resources to create everything you need and shape the world as you envision it. These games share a lot in common, with the difference being that Starbound is more focused on storytelling rather than sandbox gameplay. It Takes Two, one of the best cooperative games, an adventure action game that can't be played alone. You'll definitely need a partner who takes on the role of the second character. The game tells the story of a married couple on the brink of divorce who, for some reason, have turned into dolls. Now they must overcome numerous obstacles to find a way to become human again. And throughout the adventure, the characters will reevaluate their relationship and perhaps rekindle forgotten emotions. Craftopia, a quite interesting and content-rich sandbox game with well-polished core mechanics. 
It combines action elements with building mechanics seamlessly. You can obtain equipment by looting chests and defeating bosses or craft it by gathering materials with desired effects. Overall, there's always something to do here, whether you want to fight, automate production, or search for rare components. Additionally, the game offers magic, crop cultivation, trading, mechanical construction, and much more. The cherry on top is the availability of cooperative and competitive multiplayer modes. Journey to the Savage Planet in this two-player cooperative game, we take on the roles of explorers sent to a distant planet to determine its suitability for colonization. The heroes are tasked with studying the local ecosystem, collecting samples of flora and fauna, unraveling the mystery of ancient ruins from a fallen civilization, and if possible, finding fuel for their spaceship to return home. Otherwise, they will be stranded on this planet forever. The resolution of all challenges will depend on the teamwork and development choices of the two players. One can focus on combat skills while the other delves into the realm of science and technology. Over time, they will gain access to jetpack boots, laser pistols, and even the ability to feed the local creatures. Risk of Rain 2, a cooperative roguelike game where we must clear levels on fantastical planets, collect artifacts, and battle various bosses. All of this can be done in online cooperative mode for up to four players. Compared to its predecessor, the second installment has made a significant leap forward in terms of graphics and gameplay. It has become a fully-fledged third-person roguelike shooter, surpassing its predecessor in almost every aspect. Each playthrough in the game is unique due to the variety of heroes, enemies, items, and bosses. Furthermore, the enemies become stronger with each level cleared. Sea of Thieves, an MMO action game about pirates that perfectly captures the spirit of adventure and requires perfect teamwork. The game features online cooperative play for 4 players and multiplayer for up to 50 players. All actions of the players must be coordinated because the ship won't set sail if the crew doesn't learn how to lower the sails, plot a course, and it will sink quickly in the first encounter if the sailors don't fire the cannons and bail out water from the hold. Each player must fulfill a specific role. The game offers a lot of interesting content, including story quests, naval battles, treasure hunting, and PvP. As long as you have friends, there will always be adventures to embark on. Darksiders Genesis, a prequel to the series that significantly differs from its predecessors. It is now an isometric action game similar to Diablo, where players assume the roles of war and strife, venturing into hell to restore order. The experiment has worked in favor of the series, as players still fight demons and angels, but the intensity of the action has greatly increased, and various elements have diversified the gameplay. It's especially satisfying that now the world can be explored in online cooperative mode for two players. Grounded, a survival game set in the backyard of an ordinary house. The protagonists are teenagers who have been greatly reduced in size, turning the colorful garden into impassable and dangerous jungles. They must search for food and weapons while evading ants and spiders. However, it's much more fun to survive in the micro world with friends. In a group of up to four people, you can search for precious resources together and build shelters out of leaves. Serious Sam 4. In 2020, fans of Serious Sam were gifted with the long-awaited fourth installment, which stays true to the essence of the series. Once again, the protagonist Sam battles hordes of invading aliens to save the Earth. The Earth can be saved in four-player cooperative mode, and playing cooperatively makes the game much more enjoyable. Key innovations include dual-wielding weapons, perks, a companion robot, additional missions, transportation options, and significantly improved graphics. Sniper Elite 4, one of the best sniper games out there. In the fourth installment of the series, the action is set in Italy, where the main character carries out missions to eliminate prominent figures within the Nazi command. Whenever possible, the goal is to remain as unnoticed as possible. The game is well designed for four-player cooperative play and offers a solid multiplayer experience for up to 12 players. The storyline may be short, but each mission is expansive, providing more freedom of action. Shadow Warrior 2. 
The first game was released in 2013 and featured an engaging storyline and excellent corridor shooting gameplay with bosses. The sequel takes on a Borderlands-style approach. It offers procedurally generated open levels, numerous enemies to shoot, side missions, loot acquisition, and diverse bosses. As a result, the single-player experience is not as strong, but playing together with a friend makes it much more enjoyable. State of Decay 2 in this open-world zombie shooter, we must explore lands infested with the undead, find survivors, and gather them in our community, which can be developed and fortified with resources obtained during our journeys. Cooperative play makes survival more efficient. Together with friends, you can engage in base building, explore the world for resources and willing survivors to join your settlement, and of course, fight against the reanimated corpses. Outward, a hardcore RPG with online cooperative play for two players or split-screen on a single PC. Here, you'll explore a fantasy world, facing many dangers such as aggressive monsters, diseases, hunger, thirst, and cold. Surviving in this game is not easy, but working together increases your chances. That's all, thank you for watching, your like and subscription will be the best gratitude. The Image Game Channel was with you, have a good day.